Okay, so I'm CCJ Kuo from University of Southern California. Uh, it's the joint work with my former student, uh, Shang Wenli, Chen Chen, and Yu Zuoren. They're all working now. You know, the first two are going to Facebook, and the third one working at the NVIDIA. So the professor has to be here to present the work. So anyway, um, so there are two problems. So number one problem we want to see is that there are confusing classes. So these are examples. Different kind of dogs, different kind of snakes. So humans get confused, but computers also get confused. But then we try to see whether we can find this kind of confusion classes. Then, once you know that, then we try to see whether we can boost the performance when there are some confusion cases uh, showing up. One way to do that is that you're looking at top five errors, right? And you try to build those kind of top five statistically. But here we have a very shortcut to find out the confusion class. So here, this is a, a general framework. It's a, Confusion class uh, uh, identification and resolution. So we start from a basic CN, can be any in CN. So we start like you could raise it, uh, LXNet or VGG. And then we use the last stage, the, uh, the projection between the, the different anchor vector. I will explain that to show the confusion class. And then we find confusion class and then we build another in, building another classifier. So this is the last stage of the uh, uh, some network. So last day output node, and then there is a filter weight associated with output node. So when you do the inner uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, convolution, it is a projection. So if you are close to that class, the projection number will be large. It means the uh, the vector and the, this anchor vector point to that class should be very small. The angle should be very small. So then we can use this kind of different anchor vector for different object classes to see their projection. So here I show different kind of class uh, anchor vector. Anchor vector basically is a, it's a sort of statistic behavior of multiple uh, training samples. So if two anchor vectors are very close, so output node is very close, that means large projection and they are easily confused. So we can build a, a sort of a, a graph so each node is a class. If the node has a very a small angle, then that means a very highly confusing class. We use a thick link, edge link, to denote that. And if it's something weaker, we use a small one. Then we can form a so-called affinity matrix. And then a larger value means a, a strong correlation, confusion. And the smaller number means there is no, con no confusion, so they are weakly. Uh, co uh, weekly correlate. So we can form a Fini matrix, and then we can do spectral uh, clustering, and then cut the graph into subsets. So that's the confusion class we can do. And then we, within each confusion class, then we try to do some kind of a, a binary tree a splitting, and then using some kind of uh, visual similarities, and then eventually go, go, to, go down to a node which is intra-class variance is small, so we can sort of consider that's the final node. And then the final node, sometimes it's a pure class, there's no confusion, then it's fine. But there is some class you have mixed type. So these two, you have mixed type, then we just train another random forest classifier to split them. So this shows the case, you know, the direct path going down means it's just one class at one node. But then the, there are two ones, you, you have a random forest one, random forest two. We train another classifier to split the node with uh, multiple object classes. So then testing, we just uh, uh, go into that uh, uh, node and then we just trace the tree. And then here, there's a, a green snake. Then we'll go to that node with a hybrid, multiple classes. Then we use a random forest and then we know this is a green snake. So in terms of uh, experiment, we split two things. One is just uh, rescale the image. We change the aspect ratio, so the cat now become a sort of a little bit de deformed cat. Another one, we just scale it uniformly, uh, keep the aspect ratio, and pick multiple nodes. Then we can see the performance improvement. So the AlexNet, VGG, and we have the top one error, we see about 2% improvement. And similarly, for top five, it's also 2% improvement. This show another example. So there is a different kind of, say, the first example is ox, but in the original network, it's the second, second choice. But now, after we do the confusion class uh, resolution, it becomes the number one. And similarly, there are several examples. So anyway, this is the final one. So we basically provide a confusion class identification resolution system 
using the uh, CNN filter weight to do that. And just welcome to our uh, post session 3CB.